I have a life update for you guys. We're moving.
So as you guys can see, we are in the process of moving. My craft room is pretty empty right now along with the rest of my house, but we're gonna be moving less than 10 minutes away. So we're staying within the same zip code. So long story short, unfortunately, we currently rent the house that we are in and our landlord has several other properties since all of his leases with all of his tenants are expiring. Ours would be expiring at the end of this month anyway. So he decided to go ahead and sell all of his homes so we got like a 45 day notice that we needed to move out so because it's so hard to find rentals that are reasonably priced that have the square footage that we need that also allows two large dogs we're gonna have to be moving back in with my parents until we come across another rental property so just wanted to give you guys a quick little life update because my channel is gonna be looking a little bit different not the channel content but just the general setting and background Round. I still plan on doing all of my crafty tutorials and freshy videos and small business vlogs and everything in between that you guys normally see. Thankfully, my mom is super crafty and creative and luckily she has a craft room and she was nice enough to spare me some room so that I could move in some of my craft supplies and tools and equipment and all that. So here shortly, I will take you guys over there and show you my mama's craft room and show you where I'm gonna be set up at. So we are in my mom's craft room and she was nice enough to give me these two back corners back here so I could keep doing what I'm doing and I'll give you guys a quick little tour. And my mom is a maker of all things just like I am. She kind of dabbles in everything so she has a ton of craft supplies. I think I got like all of my creativity from her for sure. But so this is my like heat press sublimation little corner. So I have all of my like sublimation supplies and shirts and blanks down here. My tumbler press, my little accessories, my heat press on this big table along with my two last starter kits that are left and some extra supplies. And since that cube shelf wasn't very deep, I could shove some more boxes back here with just some like extra supplies. Then I got another cube shelf and I got these baskets from the Dollar Tree and I literally like angled them in here and screwed them into the shelf. I love the way it looks so I could put two baskets in a cube and this is what I use to hold all of my molds now. And then I have my scale up here for my packages. This is going to be like my general work area where I'll be doing a lot of my filming. And then back here, I have two drawers with all of my vinyl and HTV. And then I have like all of my other like shipping labels and paper cutter back there and all of like my tools and accessories. And then just like office supplies, like markers, paint pens, regular pens, all of my inks and electronic stuff. And then in this cabinet, these were the baskets that I got from Home Goods. And I have like some of my packaging in these, and then just like random craft supplies in my other ones. And a basket of stickers for like my freebies and my orders. And then all of my florals and stuff I just shoved in there. I need to get like a big basket to hold it all. And behind all the baskets, I have even more stuff because this cabinet is so deep. So I have like boxes of craft supplies behind there. So a pretty good storage. I was able to fit about half of my craft room in here. The other half is in a storage unit in town. And then I have like more supplies here. I have my packaging up here, my Cricut, my sublimation printer, regular printer, label printer. And then I got to make that little corner my own since I'm gonna be filming right there. So I just kind of decorated a little bit with what I already had in my old craft room. So not too shabby for my new setup. So I definitely think this will work and I'm excited to get back to filming and film some videos here for you guys.
So that is where I'm going to leave you guys today. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. If you did like it, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you're watching this video, but you're not already subscribed to my channel, then make sure you click my subscribe button so that you don't miss out on my future videos. I would greatly appreciate the follow. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.